are you? I'm Tinashe. Tinashe, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's my first time here, so very excited to be here. And to welcome you to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, I have a gift for you, an Emily Hines LP. Oh, I love her so much. She's Canadian. Now, tell us about your love for Canadians. I mean, Canadians make like some really dope music, let's be honest. Emily Haynes is one of them. She's so good. I actually love this album. Ryan Hemsworth. I want to collaborate with her one day. Ryan Hemsworth is the dopest. We have some songs together. There's all sorts of dope Canadians out there, man. They're just killing the game. All this Canadian love. I wish I was Canadian. Boy Wanda. Boy Wanda. That's the homie. The list just goes on and on and on. All day. Tinashe, do you really have 12 different laughs? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I what were they? Because you had said you had 12 different laughs. At one point, um, I'm sure there's like the giggle, like a hee hee There's like a, a heavy like ha 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 laugh. You know, you got the like, <laughs> the silent laugh because you're laughing so hard that no sound comes out. Let's see what else is there. <laughs> That's a good laugh. Um... Are these laughs? How many are we at right now? I'm like, I think we only got a couple. Or six. I don't know. I'm, I'm working on it. Tinashe, <laughs> I have another gift for you to welcome you to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. A Ladysmith Black oh, Mombazo yeah. LP. Oh my God, that's so funny. Okay, wait. My dad actually was like in a show with these guys at one point. One of them is named Tulani, and my brother is named after literally one of these dudes. So, shout out to Ladysmith. What show was your dad in? Please explain. That sounds interesting. I think it was Noma Temba. Um, it was like in Chicago. And yeah, they were a part of it. And he like became friends with them. And so yeah, my brother's named after one of the dudes. That's so cool. This is, their outfits are on point. Do you see these like loincloths that they're wearing? Like that's intense. Like a typical Tinashe audience? I guess so. I mean, I would wear that on my show. I think we should next show. I think we should like do a variation on the. They have like blonde hair on their like elbows and knees. That's really different. Tinashe, you love African music, don't you? I do. I do. I mean, my dad's from Zimbabwe, so you know, gotta rep, gotta rep it. Like Fella. What can you tell people about Fella? Amazing. Amazing. Like he's one of the dopest people ever because he can actually make a song that's like 12 minutes long and people don't call him crazy for it so that's cool no i don't i can't make a 12 minute song people would be like are you on acid so shout out to him he's dope well speaking of african music and fella i have another gift for you a fella live lp hey, this is so dope does he have any like 10 minute songs on this one totally <laughs> oh my god 1971 these There's are only four songs on it that's because they're probably all 30 minutes long see this is my point exactly. This is one you should cover. It's with Ginger Baker 2 from Cream. It's an amazing live album. And there's a song in her teen actually called Yee Yee De Schmel. Yee Yee De Schmel? Yee Yee De You can turn over there. Yeah. Yee Yee De Schmel is right there. Yee Yee <laughs> Wow. Composed by Ransom Cootie. And it's like over 12 minutes long. So you got to cover that. I will. Why not? Maybe I'll do it tonight. The show. I'll just be like, Ready? I have like 20 minutes set. This whole first half is, is a felt cootie cover. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. And they recorded this LP using NNG. What's that? Nigerian Natural Grass. Really? Have you ever had a Nigerian Natural Grass at all, Tinashe? I mean, I've never been to Nigeria, so I mean, I've had some definitely some like California Natural Grass, Vancouver Natural Grass, but I'm gonna have to make my way to Nigeria at some point in time and sample that for myself and make a 30-minute LP. Do you ever go to Senior Nacho at all? Hey, yes! Senior Nacho, shout out to Foothill Boulevard. That's like the spot that all the kids go to like for lunch when you can walk there from the high school or like you go there in the morning and get like breakfast burritos. So it's a pretty cool like local spot, standy kind of thing. How about Pepe's or Everest Burgers? Ever been there? Everest holds it down. Everest hold Pepe's is also dope. There's like a few really good Mexican restaurants in La Crescenta that now everyone will have to visit. <laughs> You have made it, Tinashe. You've made it. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. I'm here today. I'm interviewed by you. Actually, my brother, I, and I quote, said, you know you've made it when you get interviewed by Nardwar. So, I guess I've made it. Oh, amazing. Well, according thank to, you. According to my brother, you're, you're the one. 
Well, I think you really have made it, though, because you have a parking spot sometimes at the Capitol Records building. That's making it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, Capitol Records is like an iconic recording studio in L.A. So to just, you know. And a parking cool. spot in L.A. I mean, with my name on it and everything. Like, it's official. It's the amazing cool. Capitol Records building, the history there? Historic. I mean, it's just like a national landmark. I think, like, the way that it's shaped and everything is pretty, like, iconic. Tinashe, you were judged by Jermaine Jackson, Jan Brady, and Cisco? Crazy, man. I mean, Cisco, Dong Song, classic. What can you tell the people about that? America's most talented kids? I was... 11 um i was runner up i lost just like all the greats did destiny's Ch beyonce lost christina aguilera lost i'm pretty sure justin timberlake lost. i don't even know if he was on that show. star search but you know i'm a loser and i made it you guys i made it you did make it to kathy though tell us about kathy in 13 you were kathy in 13 yes, 13 was this like musical that i did randomly um at the mark taper forum in la and it went to broadway later on and like ariana grande was in it which is like super weird but i was in the original cast so og right here og have you talked to her about that no i've never actually met her so, so Ari that would be a good talking point though if we ever do meet i'll be like 13 13 I have another gift for you, Tinashe. Right here, some Tony, Tony. Shut up. My mom loves Tony, Tony, Tony. She's going to freak out about this. My mom is such like a geek. She like grew up in Iowa and was like the only person in her whole town that listened to R&B music. And so this is pretty precious. And you sample them for just a taste, I, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I totally sample um, in one of my songs on my last mixtape, Black Water. And you also sample Cool in the Gang. I do. That's another one of my mom's favorites. It was actually the first concert she ever went to. So I like to be able to like throw things in there that are just like references to like things that I like or like things that kind of relate to like my family or whatever. You know, Ashley, winding up here, you can do the splits. Hey, I can do all three splits. The right splits, the left splits, the middle splits. I would demonstrate, but these jeans, the way the jeans are set up. Have you done the splits? Do you empathize with Lenny Kravitz when he did the splits? <laughs> when his pants ripped? I haven't ripped my pants yet, but one of the shows I was wearing these sweats and they were like kind of tight and I was genuinely scared that I was going to rip my pants, but I just went for it anyways and thank God the, um, the Lenny Kravitz syndrome was not, didn't go down. Naughty bits did not pop out. Naughty bits did not pop out that day. But I was curious, what do you eat before you do the splits? I mean... <laughs> Not much of anything, apparently. I mean, crap, chips, rosé. Tina, actually, you are so friendly. Thank you. I'm so glad. Such a nice compliment. I'm glad that you think I'm friendly. And it's <laughs> out there because on Twitter, you follow like 160,000 people. That's very friendly of you, isn't it? That's a lot of friends. That's that's like too many to count. My DMs is insane. Like, it's, I, I can't even venture into the DMs. I open it up and it's like a black hole. I'm just like, ugh. ugh I'm we have a few to go, though, because remember, Little B, he follows a million people. Well, he's beating me, <laughs> obviously. But still, that's awesome, though. <laughs> I'm working on it. 100,000. Working on it. Coming up on two. <laughs> and lastly, Tinashe, you love testicles, don't you? Why not? Who doesn't love testicles? You really like testicles, and I have a gift here for you right now. Testicles. Test Icicles, oh. the band. Boa versus Python. This is such a cool album cover, though, for real. And you have a connection to testicles. I do. Yes, because your good friend, Dev... Hines? Played in the band. Shut up! If you open this up right here, you can see he was called Dev Metal at the time. A different name! Dev Metal. If you open it up right here and flip it over, what do we see right there? Yes. Dev... Yes! Dev Metal. He looks really young in that picture. <laughs> That's a throwback, right? This is really cool. So this is Dev from 2005. Did he tell you about testicles, test icicles? He did not. That was something that I will... <laughs> Definitely be hitting him up about after I listen to this beautiful record. <laughs> I'm sure it's really good. He's the dopest. So I'm sure it's dope. I'm sure it's Shout dope. Shout out to Dev. Shout out to Dev Hines. 
Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all, Tinashe? Well, yeah, I have a question. Where do you get your awesome hats and outfits? Bursu's Angels in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yes, I need to make a stop there. Oh, actually, my mom got the hat from Scotland. Oh, okay. Well, then so that's shout out to the mom. really official. Shout out to all the moms out there. Holding it down. Cool hats. I need to get on your local hat-wise. I'm not, I'm not there yet, so working towards it. Why should people care about Tinashe? Why should people care? People should care because I think it's cool to just like not take yourself too seriously, but still be very focused on like your work and your stuff and still create really good music and, and dope stuff and like be a real person, not like a, a robot who like can't carry on a real conversation because you'd be surprised how many people are actually like that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Well, thanks so much, Tinashe. Keep on rock. Thanks. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do. <laughs> that ending pose, though, this is on point. Alrighty then.